I'm going to explain and go through the software we need to create a QGIS plugin. And there are two software programs we go through download and installation for here. The first is QGIS, the software we'll be using to develop a plugin for. And the second is PyCharm, which is a Python integrated development environment or IDE that we'll use to write code and organize code. Uh, so first QGIS, go to the QGIS website, QGIS.org. On the home page, there's this download now button. Uh, just go ahead and click on that and we'll take you to the downloads page. Now notice that QGIS is available for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android. It's one of the great things about QGIS. It's free, it's open source, and it's available cross-platform. I'm working on the Windows machine, a 64-bit Windows machine with Windows 10 installed. Uh, so I'm going to use this OSGO4W network installer here. We want to use the network installers. They allow for an advanced install. So let's go ahead and click on that. Uh, you'll be able to download this. So when you click Save, it will download. I already have one downloaded, so I'm not going to do this because it will save time for the downloading. Um, I'm going to open it up here in my Downloads folder. And just double click that to run. Yes. We're going to go through some steps. We want to do advanced install. And let's go next. Uh, install from internet. This is the folder where everything will be saved. Uh, so mine's on the C drive OSGO 4W64. I don't want an uh, icon in the start menu. Uh, this is the local package directory that's pretty typical. Uh, direct connection. I'm going to download from osgo.org just because I'm familiar with the website. Any of these will work fine. Okay, so here we go. And now I have to select the packages I want to install. We're going to select two packages. Uh, from the desktop option, the first is just simply QGIS QGIS desktop. So let's go ahead and get that. And the next is going to be the QGIS full desktop, which will also install that. And this will just make sure that, that we have the latest desktop version and then also all the extra packages we need to do our development. So that's all we need. We will click next. Um, we want to install any dependencies, uh, so that will automatically take care of that for us. We'll click Next, and then this will go ahead and download for us once we've agreed to the licenses. So agree to the license, agree to the license, agree to the license. Keep doing this until we're done. And now our download is starting. Um, this is going to take a little while. While this is going, I am going to go and show you PyCharm. So back to the internet, um, we'll go to PyCharm. So this is a JetBrains product. So JetBrains.com slash PyCharm. Uh, and you can click on the download now here. So PyCharm, uh, the reason I'm suggesting PyCharm is it has a free version, a free community version that is very powerful and has a lot of good features. You don't have to use PyCharm, but that's what I'll be using. It will make it much easier for you to follow along with development. Uh, once again, this is free, so it won't cost you any money to download. Um, if you want to try professional, you can get a 30-day free trial of professional. Um, so you'll just simply click download now. And taking a second to load here. And this will come to a page that gives you the options for professional or community. Uh, community is fine. Uh, same thing, click download here. And this is where you'll, your download will start. I'll probably have a screen pop up here in just a second. I already have PyCharm installed, so I'm not going to go through this installation. It is very, very straightforward. Um, you'll be able to handle this. If you have questions, though, please let me know. Um, and so once you download the executable, just open the executable, and it will install PyCharm for you. So we're here. Um, our install is still happening. I'm going to pause the video and come back once the install is finished. 
All right, so I've successfully installed the OSGO4W. Um, let's just check the installation. So we'll click Finish, and then we'll come to the C drive where we have the install happen, the OSGO4W64 folder. And the way we can launch QGIS is in this apps folder, um, QGIS, and bin. Oh, sorry. In the bin folder, QGIS-bin. So I'll go through that one more time. So we have, we're in the OSGO 4W64, go to the bin folder, and come down to this QGIS-bin.exe. We double click that, we will launch QGIS, and we'll just do this to make sure that everything is working smoothly. And there we go, um, we get the image popping up, showing that we're setting up the GUI. This might take just a minute, so once again, I'm gonna pause the video and come back to it once QGIS is loaded. Okay, so here we are, QGIS is successfully loaded, um, our install is working. So we're gonna leave off uh, here this time, We've gone through installing QGIS and we have that up and running. And we have also gone through how to install PyCharm uh, and that is up for, for you to install and let me know if you have problems with that. Uh, thank you for watching.